What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Sorry for the clean shaven face, but today I literally ordered every single color Strike King Rage Tail Frog you can buy on the Strike King website. I got green pumpkin, I got watermelon seed, watermelon red, black Okeechobee. So I mean, we have pearl right here. Um, this one's probably gonna be one of my favorite go-tos today. Green pumpkin pearl, we have the Okeechobee, Green Pumpkin. So every single color Strike King had to offer. So if you go to the Strike King website, use code Georgia, you can get free shipping. Also get free shipping on Lou's with code Georgia. And obviously you can tell what they're biting because Luke literally has a entire boat full of old rage tail frogs that are just laying in the bottom of the boat that he's used. He's been catching some six, seven, maybe eight pounders out here on topwater frogs. So it is the time of year to catch some giants. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button giant fish will be caught today so let's go ahead we're going to take this boat get driving down the road we'll see y'all over there in just a second Just getting in the old lake. And we're gonna catch some fish. Let me see if this bad boy works. We in business. We are in business. All right, let's back this thing up, get Luke loaded up in the boat. Excited to have this extra mount for you guys, get you another point of view of the boat. Okay. Alrighty guys, we are officially down at the lake now. Officially already got a frog tied on this rod. I have a uh, Luz Hypermag with an extra heavy TP1X rod, 65 pound braid, and the uh, Strike King Rage Toad. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get you guys onto the chest mount. Luke's getting in the boat now, and uh, hopefully we can catch some big ones. Uh oh. There is a log we are on. We can get it. There we go. And look how thick this grass has already grown since the last time we fished it. It's already getting thick. No, I think they'll stay in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> First. That, that was quick. He's a good fish, man. Hey! That is a good first fish. What are we like, five casts deep? Well, first one of the day, probably a solid three, three and a half or so. Not a bad first fish. Top water, man. Midday, here it is like. Sun's directly above us. We're catching fish on top water. I should have took, took a picture of that thing, but I think we'll get bigger. The so. only thing about the 65 pound braid is it gets a little hard to throw sometimes, but it'll crank out some fish. That one actually pulled out some drag, so. Because he literally had it almost every Sunday. Oh, I bet. When he was like 14. Get it. I don't know, he's flying. No, not a huge one. I gave him plenty of time to swallow that hook. All right. Didn't mean to splash him that hard. I thought he was going to kind of torpedo in there. And he turned mid ways out. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and use the old green pumpkin pearl. I was using that uh, green pumpkin one, but trying to catch a fish off virtually every color we have. But these look really good. 
Mm. I'm a big time coffee drinker, so anything that's infused with coffee scent, I like. Oh, that was one. <laughs> you were right. It now missed it. Talk about this pool. Well, one hit right there. I can skip it up under here too. <laughs> I got it. Always gotta get it hung around that good spot. I had two different bites in that one spot, so you you really getting it hung in like the prime locations. Yeah. I'm just glad to see they're still biting. Let me get one more cast in there just in that spot because Go ahead. You know I had that other fish bite. And that one kind of sounded better because it, it did that, you know, like it wasn't that real aggressive bite sound. It was just that slurp. I'm gonna stand up for this because he was right in that back pocket right there. Come on, I'm gonna ease it off the grass. Got him. I don't know if I can get him out. Oh, he's big. He's, big. he's hung in the grass. I got like a four or five pound bass on and like 30 pounds of grass. See him? <laughs> See him. You want me to get him? Well, I'm gonna have to get this grass off best I can. Woo! Didn't I tell you he was bigger off the base of that sound? I could tell based off that that so he was good. Does that look like a egged up female? A little chunky, you know. But a little she might have a couple eggs left in her. I'm gonna get a weight on her real quick. Do that. She looks nice. I think she's worth getting a weight on. I just like how I called it. I was like, I'm gonna go back in there and get that one. Well, I like how I called the first one. Thank first one you called the first one thank goodness for 65 pound braid yes hey bud we're looking at 5.19 oh, that's a good this one might deserve a picture did you get your frog out all right officially a 5.19 got her up there in that grass where she should have been luckily if it wasn't for 65 pound braid i wouldn't have her so probably a postponed female but pretty good one frog fishing so and luke just had a giant one hit on the other side so i think this might actually be one of our best days out here this year so okay you had a few all right Woo, i like it when they do that when they do that <laughs> they get their breath and then boom all right so biggest one of the day so far on the white and green pumpkin i don't even know what i did with my pack oh it's up here watermelon red you can't go wrong with watermelon red let's try it the white and green's done pretty good mm, i can just sniff these all day what color do you have on right now the Okeechobee Blue. Oh, yeah. I think he was chasing it. I think he's a spawner. It looked like a spawner, didn't it? I am not in a good position. 
Yeah, I've seen him take off a couple times, but he ain't seeming like he's wanting to bite it. But he's there. Yeah, it's just the wind. <laughs> no, nah, I got him. If I could drag him across that grass, I knew I could get him up here. It might have been that bass. No, there he is. Look, I think that one's bedding. It's even bigger than this one. If this one's two, two and a half, that one was three, three and a half. Well, he did because I got close enough. This one's skinny. This one's definitely a post-spawn female. <laughs> Should jump. So what's the next color? No, we ain't. Yeah, I guess now it's gonna come down to me using white and you using black. And we're gonna find what they want well for some weird reason the bite has actually slowed down it's a uh, prime time sun's behind the trees it's almost dark but now's when they really should be hitting top water and we're not even doing anything we got all our top water hits midday sun at the highest i was five cast in and got my first fish but this pocket right here great spot for potentially a giant so luke's been throwing the frog I, th I think I need to set this camera down and get me a cast in, so let's keep trying. Yeah. 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 There's another big one. You get him. Let's get a double on the boat. <laughs> Can't even hold on to him. Yeah. He actually, he actually got a little blood on my thumb. All right. He fought hard. I was gonna hold him in the boat till we got a double. There you go. Giant one? Nope. He's slung your frog. Look at his head. He got something wrong with it. Ooh. He followed it for a long ways and didn't commit. Did you see that? I hate it when they do that. Alright, so look at this guy. He's good head damage yeah like that's not that's not good yep. i can feel bone <laughs> okay so sorry little guy i'm gonna let you go live out what little days of your life you didn't live so the day's over with let me show you the damage an entire pack of green pumpkin white gone used every one of them i used two of them out of the watermelon red flake I have one out of the pearl. Luke has a. I went through a whole bag of Okeechobee. He went through a whole bag of Okeechobee. Almost an entire bag of um, black neon. Wow! So like, literally like three bags we used up today. That's 15 rage tails gone. Actually, I have a pile of like four or five of them right there that are just torn up or a leg's gone we're thinking about maybe buying a mold or something and uh that'd be the best bet those those uh rage toads are good for about sometimes between two and like four or five fish and then usually after that they're done yeah i, I literally just bought uh like 14 packs for this video like two of every color and we've already used four or five packs so yeah time to order some more 
and maybe do another challenge. Maybe we'll come out here with some flukes next time, but I think we have about another 15, 20 minutes to fish. And uh, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. The bite is pretty much turned off, so we're gonna go ahead and leave. I'm getting a little cold here in the evening times. The temperature still drops, and your boy is starved to death. About to go get me some food. And until the next video, guys, have some big things coming, coming collabs, meetups. So until the next time, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.